why we chose Madeira. When we talk about why we moved here, it feels like it's all a dream. This is the second video in our bright journey. This is our third time of attempting this video. I think it's our third time. Yes. So the first time the ocean was very busy and very noisy, wasn't it? And we just couldn't compete with it. Let's hope that the camera picked up some of that. So we came back again and I would say it was better, but still not clear enough. So we're hoping today that we can talk and be heard. <laughs> and we Check have your bells. bell. <laughs> okay, so this video is a follow up from our first one. Madeira, an island far out in the Atlantic, part of Portugal, but off the coast of Morocco, is known as the Garden of the Atlantic. And we're just going to talk about why we chose to move to Madeira. Why we chose to retire early and move to Madeira. What is it that brought us to this beautiful island? I think we could say it was a good plan, well executed, but I think a lot of it was fate. I think a lot of it was fate. A lot of too. it was fate. Definitely. Just that you happened to. I think you researched it on Google, didn't you? I researched it and we looked at Portugal. And Portugal just wasn't quite right for us. I don't know why, but there was something that wasn't quite right. And then one day, Google targeted really, really I think it's the whole thing of living on an island as well. Yeah. I think we had a few criteria. Didn't we? we wanted mountains. Yep. We wanted water. We wanted it to be green. And I think we really wanted an, an outdoor lifestyle and just living a slower pace of life in the UK. Is yeah. And really, if we think back, it's such a it's such a great tale actually that brought us here because I think what happened was we talked about retiring when you're sixty, hadn't we? We'd always thought we'll retire when Andrew's sixty, and we're now fifty-eight, so we have managed to retire early. And COVID really made us reassess life. I think it did a lot of people, whether it's where they work, how they work, what's important in life. I think. For me, because you had to work at home, that made me just realise how much I loved having you around all the time. <laughs> and, but also, it showed me how life for you was very difficult. But it's the first time I think I've ever seen you stressed. I was encouraging you to retire. And I think for a while you were like, oh no, it's too soon, it's too soon, we can't. But when we started to look into it, we thought if we moved abroad, we could have the lifestyle we wanted. We couldn't have it in the UK, but we could have it. But not only that, even if we could have afforded it in the UK. Oh, the weather wasn't. It, it wasn't the place, it just, it yeah. just I, I don't want to be stuck indoors. It's when we retired, we wanted to be somewhere warm enough that we could be outside all day. Not really hot though, but just warm enough to enjoy the outside life. When we look back, when Jack and Naomi moved to Sweden in the June, two years ago, June 2020, and they bought a house and they have got some fantastic YouTube and we, every week, we waited for their YouTube videos to come out. They bought a house in Sweden, in northern Sweden near Lapland. It's their fault. It's, yeah, and we wanted to move <laughs> to Sweden because their videos inspired us so much. We thought, this is the life we want. Yeah, so why not choose paradise? We are in Sweden because we want to be in paradise. 
because we want to live our dream, because we want to be somewhere quiet, because we don't want to be in the rat race, because all we know, life is so uncertain. And if there's anything this year has taught us, is that anything can happen. Didn't we? We thought this is where we want we to We fell live. in love with the dream of just adventure and our own time and nature. And, yeah. But we just, just it, it was, wasn't the place for us. It wasn't. And But at the time, like you say, we did fall in love with the dream. Because it was such a beautiful place where they lived. We had it in our head that that was our place, didn't we? And we even started a vision board and we put a found a Swedish house we wanted to buy and put it on our vision board. And we were all set for that. And I think if it if it had been a tad easier to get there. Yeah, it may have happened. It may have happened and I think if it had happened, it wouldn't have been right for us. No, it wouldn't have been right. For It'd us. been nice for us for four months of the summer. Yeah. But, but the rest of the time. I think as far north as Jack and Naomi were because the dark nights and the cold, it wouldn't have been what we wanted. So with Sweden, we couldn't find a way to emigrate there as retirees. And we we tried to visit Sweden. Retirees. 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 <laughs> retirees. We tried to visit Sweden in December. Covid had stopped us going there before, and everything opened up. And then we booked our flight for just before Christmas to be there for Christmas. To be there for Christmas, and then everything got stopped because Boris announced how we had. I think we had a new strain, and things were bad in the UK, so everywhere stopped the UK from travelling there. And Sweden said, "No, you can't come." So we had to cancel our flights and we couldn't travel. And we were very upset, not only because we wanted to go and visit Jack and Mel, but also to see Sweden and live their lifestyle. Um, we spent a little bit of time after that trying to get hold of the Swedish embassy. And I think we spoke to a lady called Anna twice and she said, there's no route for you at the moment. We have to keep checking back, but there's no route for you because of Brexit. So, I think in the end we just thought we need to find another another way to live our We could have, we could have easily given up at that point. Yeah. And then April time we started looking again and we found Portugal. Weren't sure about Portugal. Google targeted us with this beautiful island. And I remember I remember finding information about it on my laptop and showing it to you. And you were like, that's it, that's where I want to live. There was no, I've got to go and see first. You just said, <laughs> was a good idea. You just said that's where I want to live. That's it. that's the place. You knew straight away, didn't you? And it had everything you wanted. It had the mountains. <laughs> it had the, the ocean. It had the beautiful lifestyle, chilled lifestyle. But it was warm, but not hot. Yeah, I think they called it a light. They call it a subtropical climate. Don't yeah. They say so it's like mild. It and never gets above. 28 never goes below about 12. Yeah. Yeah. So perfect for us. And even then, <laughs> I remember we so wanted, we did want to visit and we couldn't because of COVID. And mm. it was frustrating, but we decided to do lots of research and everything we read and found out about it, it just kept reinforcing it's where we wanted to be. You say earlier how you think. It was fate how we ended up. There was a point about a quarter of the way, half the way through the process, I think I said to you, it's as if somebody is helping us from a higher plane. Everything seemed to drop in with it. It was the date we sold our house, the date we completed, mm. the amount we got for our house, the house that we found here, uh, completing on that. Uh, just it all tied in, it was just, it could, it could have gone horribly wrong on many fronts. Absolutely, it was just meant to be. And Naomi will love to hear you say this, but I really believe that we did manifest our house, moving here, everything that's fallen into place because we wanted it so much. 
and I think when we did our gratitude and we started to appreciate life and really know that it's the simple things in life that's important. You and me being I, together, I think... having more time together, sharing. I think the whole manifestation thing is, you know, we, we sold the house, we made the first move and then we just didn't take our foot off the gas. Yeah. There was no hesitation, there was no doubt. I think next time we've talked about why we've chosen to be in the deal. And I think next time we should probably talk a little bit about what we had to do to start the process. Because we couldn't really do anything until we sold our house in the UK. So we'll talk about that. And there was so much to share about what we've had to go through to get here. It's so exciting. Yes. Lots to look forward to. Lots to enjoy. But for now, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the sun.